Hi, this is Steve from Eco B Removal with another episode of what you need to know about live removal. Um, we're we're going to be performing a removal from a from a soffit today, and this is something that we do quite regularly. We do love a soffit, and but I'm going to be showing you some special things that we're doing at Eco B Removal, uh, developing new techniques for live removal, and some of some of this uh, these techniques today. I'm going to I'm going to talk to you about. Um, remember. Um, when, it, when you finally deal with bees, you have to remove honeycomb. If you don't, you're for sure going to get bees back again. So you should ask your contractor four things. Do you open, do you clean, do you close, and do you warranty? Then compare your prices from there. Some guys are just going to come out and spray. And they can charge anywhere from 175 bucks up until to 450 bucks just to spray. Some guys will actually open a structure and, and spray it and clean it. But that's pretty fast. They can get that done pretty fast as well. They're going to do maybe half a dozen a day. We perform about two removals a day on average. And that's because we're taking the time to open the structure, catch the bees. We're going to clean it. We're going to stuff it. We're going to dust it with the borax soap powder, all very natural. And then once we stuff it and close it, all you have to do is, is touch up paint when you're done. And you're not going to get bees back and you're going to get a warranty. Um, we're going to discuss some special techniques today. I'm looking forward to showing them to you. Um, anyway, if you have questions, you can always call us anytime um, at our 800 number and be glad to give you a free consultation. Enjoy this film. My um, One of my team members, my son Eli, who are a family-owned business, is showing up and he had bees going in and out of a soffit. We drill some holes and, and, and locate them and, and you know use heat sensors and stuff. And we found the bees. We've opened it up now. You can see this is a, a large colony inside the, the soffit, one of the most common scenarios. So we're suited up and we're ready to go. And we're going after the bees. Um, as you can see, um, it's fully exposed now. And we see the honeycomb, a lot of bee larvae. And it's a very healthy hive body. We're preparing our box here. This is an invention that we've come up with over the years, one of the many ways in which we save bees. In this case, we're using a cardboard box and some wood and some PVC, and we're actually going to install this almost like a regular hive box that you would see on the roadside, except we're just making it a temporary one. We're going to take out the bee uh, brood, and we're going, to we're going to hook it onto these PVC pieces that we've cut into like a jaw. You see here that the comb's coming out. This actually has bee brood in it. That's larva. And we're actually getting the bees off of it. And then we're installing these special PVC jaws that we're going to squeeze down onto the wax. And then we're going to throw some rubber bands on it and hold it together and slip it down in the box. So we have a whole technique. Uh, a team of two are doing this. One by one, we remove the honeycomb from the colony and we put the little PVC jaw pieces and then we're going to drop them down into the box for rehoming which will either go into a permanent bee box or it'll go directly to a beekeeper or we may just stick it out into a bee sanctuary and let the bees hang out with like a little plastic top decide what they want to do because we don't always um, we don't always keep the bees sometimes we just give them a start down the road so one by one, we wanted to show you this really cool. See the, the comb in there? And when we're done here, all these bees that we vacuumed up into a canister, we're going to dump the bees right back on to their own larva, and then they'll, they'll cover it up and keep them warm. Not everyone's willing to go through all this trouble to save bees, but we're dedicated. Um, we're not pest control. We hold no pest control licenses, nor do we even carry any chemicals um, in our truck other than maybe some soap. Um, just wanted to point this out to you because it takes a lot of care and a lot of time. And when you finally get see the logic of removing honeycomb okay, to keep bees from getting back, you're going to find that war a bargain. And because our price structuring isn't the same as pest control. So we can do things a little bit cheaper. Um, and pest control has its place. I mean, there's a lot of nasty bugs out there, but a lot of pest control, they don't even want to deal with bees anymore. They know we need bees. They don't want to kill them. They don't want to deal with honeycomb. They want to spray and go. And a lot of things you can spray and go. Bees are not one of those things you can do do that with. If you spray bees, then they die. All that's going to melt up in the soffit. It's going to drip down, and it's going to be bee mayhem. Every bee in town is going to come to your place. You've got to get off the bee world list. 
you were one in a hundred thousand when they were looking for a place to live, but now that that smell is up in there, you're going to have to re, re, re eliminate all that smell or another swarm is going to go right back in. Um, we hope you choose live bee removal when you do. Look for a, a solution to your bee problem. And we hope you choose us. If you're in our area, we cover most of the state of Florida. So just look it up. Um, we're, we're at ecobeeremoval.com. And um, we love to save bees. And uh, we'd like to help you out. If you have any questions at all, call me anytime. And I'll give you a consultation seven days a week. Um, thanks for watching this film. This is Steve Benke with Eco Bee Removal. Save bees and be blessed.